Hey, welcome everybody. I'm John Zadar and this is On Top and Hot. These are brought to you by Penny Boys. Everybody loves the alerts, but I'm begging you to check out Penny Boys University. The university is way better than the alerts are and the alerts are good. So today I am looking at a company ticker B O N Z. We are looking at this company because well, they've had a pivot, a very strong pivot from doing hardly nothing to breaking into the hot metaverse world, though they're really not pushing that in the news. Now what caught my attention is that the little news that came out just set this thing on fire and then something really strange happened and I saw it it was a buying opportunity so I want to share this with you right now come on this is bones ticker B O N Z company name Bonanza Goldfield now we are looking at this on otcmarkets.com because you can trust the information about these stocks from this site that's what it's here for Bones today, finished today at 0 .0041. It's a really good price, but <laughs> they had a really bad day. They dropped over 24% today. Maybe a buying opportunity. Now the company is pink limited. That means they're late. They're late on filing some sort of information and it's pretty obvious to see what it is. I jumped in over here to their disclosures, looked at their financials and I could see right there they're missing September's filings the third quarter of this year. That's it. Once they file those, they should jump from pink limited up to current. That should make it good for the stock good for the company. Now this is a bit precarious. If they are late too long, they get pulled off the market. No, they're not delisted. They get thrown into a penalty box, if you will. It's called the expert market. You can't buy or sell the stock while they're there. They're only there to buy time until they get their filings caught up. Once they do, they're put back on the market and everything is as it was. So what exactly does this company do? Well, when I was looking at the financials, I saw one, they weren't making any money. Two, the only asset they had, which was about $650,000, was gold mines. So I figured they were mining gold. But you don't see any mention of that here now. They say that our business marketing advisory services have been operating based on market brand and business referrals. Okay. We also provide services to distribute and sell our hybrid NFTs for media through NFT marketplaces. Well, there you go. And that is a long ways away from gold mining for sure. So what sort of excitement has been around this stock? Well, we know it fell today 24% and it had a lot of volume to do that. Normally do 7 million today. They did just about 12 million. Not exactly the perfect setup. But if you're looking for a dip to get in, that could be pretty good. Financials, I told you they're naked. They're just not making anything. They're not doing anything, but that's going to change, which is really why I'm here because those NFTs is a whole new hot market. Let's look over here at the news. Now I'm just going to flip right down to as far as they got it here and they go all the way back to January of 2020. And you can see back then they were still working with gold. Bonanza Goldfield expands Cupid Gold project and reduces their debt by about 50%. That was a long time ago. It was just here in September we got the next piece of news. Wow, what a quiet period. And this one said that the company had entered into a memorandum of understanding to acquire hybrid NFT firm Marvian. Well, there you go. A pivot. They've totally changed what they're doing. I don't anticipate they've got anything to do with gold mines anymore except they have some gold mines up for sale. Outside of that, no. Now it was a month later, we see in October, they completed the deal. They have acquired hybrid NFT firm Marvin Holdings Limited and it was their business. And between the memorandum of understanding and the time that they acquired it, all they did was talk about this company that they were getting. This company does some very unique NFTs, which we're going to talk about. They got their NFTs up onto a platform to be sold, the OKEX, which that's good. You got to have some place to sell your stuff if you want to make any money. So all of that got taken care of. 
Now, there's some more news here I am going to touch on to, but out of sequence. I want to jump up to this very top piece of news that just came out yesterday, and then I'll back up and build on to what I show you here. So in this news, we see that there is a partnership between Marvian and Omnific Blockchain Studios, and they're launching this international music production competition. And there's the key word, folks, competition. This is going to be very fruitful for them. <laughs> fruitful is my word. Now, when we look at this, keep in the back of your mind uh, X Factor or American Idol, where all this new talent is showcased, and whoever showcases it has the rights to that talent. So these two companies have come together, right? They've created this new hybrid NFT. They call it HNFT. It has more capabilities. It's more sophisticated. It can do a better job of authenticating the NFTs and a better job of verifying ownership. But more importantly, it has the ability to carry new experiences, more data. So we're gonna see something different here. And that's what we're looking at, NFTs expanding. And they're going to use this HNFT to kick off the International Music Production Competition. They call it Marvian's Music Monarch. Now, this competition is all going to be judged by the community themselves. What are they judging? NFTs. The NFTs are going to be created by artists all over the world, bringing their own concepts and ideas to the table. We don't know what we're going to see. And the community gets to vote on them by buying these NFTs. They'll bid on them. And I suppose highest bidder is going to win. Now, Omnific Blockchain Studios, they bring a special talent where they can use Mervian's technology to create these new special type of NFTs that are going to bring a new experience to everybody. Now, this is the very first in the world NFT only competition. Everybody in the world can submit their stuff. Imagine what we're going to see. And they're going to be able to actually not only showcase it, but put it up for sale. That has got to be exciting for any artist to actually see their artwork being bid on and money being made. And of course, the company is going to make money from this as well. They tell us down here that Marvin's Music Monarch is an effort to allow creators to showcase their works from all around the world, rallying their own communities of supporters and use the NFTs and blockchain to open up completely new innovative experiences for viewers. Like I said, these are going to be anything these people want to create. We don't know what they're going to bring to the table. Now they tell us here, as I was saying, like the X Factor, like American Idol, this is the first of many competitions and will not only allow Marion to accumulate a portfolio of talent and intellectual property, but will also help them to attract communities in the music industry, including artists, audience, and collectors alike, and generate healthy revenues from the sales of their HNFTs. Now, there's something very unique here that they're shooting for, and I didn't know you could do. It says that separately, Mervian will also provide NFTs and blockchain technologies in Omnific Blockchain Studios' next production. It's called Karma. It's a crime film, and it will be completely curated on the blockchain. They tell us down here that both individual short stories and full feature films will be made available as NFTs alongside digital goods tokens that enhance the experience for investors and fans. Imagine that, folks. Some, some movie maker could make a movie and put it on an NFT, and you could own that movie. You could own the rights to that movie, and it'd be yours. All right, let's go see what else we can learn about this company. Now, when I first showed you the news, we did mention down here, uh, Marvian to mint hybrid NFTs for lockdown, Asia's first NFT feature film. So we had mentioned the fact that NFTs are involved with films. Now, the neat thing I like about this news and the reason I skipped a lot of it is when you get to these things like open letter to shareholders, when a CEO comes to his shareholders, he normally talks about all the news in the past and he puts it in a nice thumbnail for us. So rather than me go through every piece of news, it's just nice to come to his letter and let him do the talking. So uh, the first thing I want to do is look at this one here, Marvian to launch auction for world's first hybrid NFT cameo in forensic psychologist film. This we actually looked at on one of my other videos back on this day, October 27th, because it caught my attention then, and I think it's worth mentioning again today. 
Now, when we first looked at this, it caught my attention because they had crossed lines. They're trying to bring ingenuity to NFTs. They're pushing the envelope out. They want to do things nobody has seen or thought of. That's why they've got the competition. A thousand minds can bring a hundred innovations. And this is definitely an innovation. I thought it was very creative. It said that the company is pleased to announce that they will be launching an auction for the world's first hybrid NFT cameo in the upcoming drama series, Forensic Psychologist. They're selling it on the marketplace we talked about and it's already happened, but it doesn't matter that it already happened. It's what they've done and what they can do again and what they're doing. So what they have here is you buy this NFT if you win it because you buy it by auctions that's the way nfts are sold if you win it you get a guest appearance on the tv show movie if you will which is on nfts <laughs> it, and the movie even is about nfts in some weird way it's about a forensic psychologist there's 12 episodes and each episode she has to set the assess the mental state of criminals who are going to go on trial to see if they are competent to stand trial so whoever buys the nft gets to be on one of those shows and they tell us here this is the world's first cameo hybrid nft it will be a great way to engage the fans as part of our vision for nfts is to create a more immersive experience for viewers and fans the successful bidder will get to be part of the production on screen and this would be truly a unique experience being the first of its kind in the film and drama NFT space. I agree. I really think it is something. And that's what really makes these different. It's bringing the fans and the, the uh, closeness of the celebrities to us, making their experience part of our experience. It's all part of the virtual experience, you know. This HNFT will offer an amazing experience and memory for one lucky fan captured on the blockchain. By offering the opportunity for fans and film enthusiasts to cameo in quality productions like Forensic Psychologist, sounds like they're going to be doing more, right? We believe this will revolutionize the traditional film and drama industry and allow the community to not just watch this series, but to also be a part of it, literally. Now let's go take a look at that shareholder letter. He gives us even more insight into these NFTs and movies. So this came out November 4th. Gotta be my second best favorite ways of learning about a company is through a shareholder letter from the CEO. My number one, well, that would be the 10K and the 10Q, the financials for the quarterly and annual. If I get a choice, I'll take the annual. Thank you very much. Those are a gold mine of information. Everything you could want to know right there. But outside of that, shareholder. Yeah, I like these letters because this is the CEO talking to me and you. You'll see a lot of quotations around these words. This is how he views the company, where he sees it going, how he feels about it. And since he's the man driving, I really want to get to feel what he's feeling. So I love these. I really do. Now, he tells us right from the start, they're already in business. They're already doing stuff. They're in the process of minting some really meaningful and unique experiential hybrid NFTs. It's abbreviated for two productions, that lockdown movie we read about, or at least the headlines from Asia, and that drama we just talked about, Forensic Psychologist. Now, they say they're going way beyond films and drama, which is very interesting, especially the way they're popping out in ways we didn't think they would. They're also going into the musics, comics, games. These are some of the real world intangible assets waiting to be properly minted in the HNFT space. These are things we enjoy here in the real world, but how do you hold a game? How do you hold, uh, you, you know, uh, music? These are things we can't touch, but you're going to create something you're going to see, feel, hear something in a virtual world. That's called an NFT. And that's what I like about this company. They are finding ways to bring new experiences to the metaverse world. They're not talking about it much, but that really is what it is, right? And these NFTs are bringing experiences, not just a visual, but something else to it. And I like that a lot. It says that uh, we believe that the complexity of delivering 
One, great user experience. Two, real world legal rights and ownership. And three, combined with the decentralization of blockchain cannot be overstated. Now, you know, we want entertainment. That's really what we care about when it comes to, you know, this sort of thing. But for people buying NFTs, you want to make sure that you're buying an authentic NFT. You want to make sure that when you get it, you have the rights to it. Now, understand you don't own the NFT, but you own the rights to the rights to it. So you can brag about it. You can showcase it. You can sell it. You can hold it forever and ever and ever. You can sublet it or rent it out. You can do all that stuff, but you don't actually get the hold and keep the NFT. You just get the rights to it, which is good enough because it gives you the money. <laughs> um, so they are very serious about using their highly sophisticated NFTs to authenticate and verify and give us an experiential experience. And they go on to say, we hope to continue to apply blockchain technology to real world applications and intangible assets such as our experiential HNFTs. We believe that as we increase awareness of our entertainment related HNFTs, our HNFT products, services, and platform will be more fully accepted and their applications will in the future extend increasingly beyond the virtual space into the real world. In fact, we anticipate that products like our HNFTs and the platform will significantly affect and transform the way intangible assets will be traded. <laughs> He's saying a lot there. He's saying what we're doing here, we're going to be a leader. People are going to take what we've got and use it. They're going to market our, our technology on their products. So they have a lot of big aspirations. And that is what this new metaverse NFT market needs. And we're talking about a company that has no money. They've had no revenues. They've had some mines that have just been doing nothing but harboring bats and echoes of the wind. That's it. So this is really good news. And what we need to do now is take a look at that chart. But first, let's see if they've got themselves a website. The company itself does not have a website. But does Mervian have a website? Well, yes, they do. And honestly, I didn't know that they did. I had not checked. So we're looking at this for the first time, really. I see they've got some information here just about themselves from their own mouth. Marvian is a metaverse blockchain technology company, unlocking, enhancing, and preserving the value of media and entertainment intellectual property through blockchain and related technologies to create these hybrid NFTs. It's what they do. Our vision is to offer the ultimate artist and fan engagement, leveraging technology in both digital metaverse and physical experience realms. And really, that's what it th this real value comes from. If you keep the metaverse, the fake world, separate from the real world, then there becomes no real practical value from it. It just becomes an existential entertainment. We want it to be functional and give us something, even if it's a good feeling. Good feelings count for a lot, and that's what fan engagement does. It makes people feel good. That's an experiential thing that comes from NFTs. You just don't get it because of the NFT. You be you get it because of what it represents and what it means to you. So this is quite interesting. I see they're talking about their movies. And uh, we got some information here. Now, you know, I have gone through a couple of these movies. I looked at some clips and they're good acting. It's, it's good production. It's not class B movies. I mean, they're quality movies. And some of this stuff is interesting. Uh, here, have your brands featured in our movies. View unreleased director cuts because of these HNFTs. Hear unreleased tracks from your favorite artists. These are things that fans want. Something more than others get and a reason that you would be about these NFTs. Why you would come here. This fan engagement is quite valuable. And let's see who their partners are. Well, look at that. I recognize Phoenix Waters. I watch a lot of their movies. And I don't recognize many more of these, but uh, well, featured in, obviously all these companies down here have actually talked about this company. The Wall Street Journal, NASDAQ, Morningstar, Variety. So Seeking Alpha, 
of course he can help and talk about them so we do have a uh, a really good site here they've told us a lot we see they are affiliated with strong companies uh, they have extra benefits so I really like this company I think that they are doing something nobody else is doing it looks like they're very good at what they do I presume that bones is probably gonna become Marvian I'm not saying they're changing their name but I'm saying this is gonna become their primary dominant business don't you think I think everything they do will be wrapped around this and when you have a talent show basically is what their competitions are and it's just the beginning of them they will be able to be bringing in you may have one winner but you could have a hundred very popular new artists and maybe 20 of those bring in something new something we had never seen before and it's like oh my god look at that and it's going to be exciting to see this expand well, you can tell i'm excited so let's take this enthusiasm over to the charts and see what this has been doing uh, it shouldn't look like anything good right nothing good uh, it was september that they came out with this news uh, so let's see if the chart represents excitement in September from that point it's in a coma and let's see how it's reacting right now and what we can do about it because it had a big drop today maybe buy in time so we're looking at B-O-N-Z on T-O-S that's think or swim it's a free trading platform I got from TD Ameritrade you can get it too all you got to do is sign up with them it's free you don't need to deposit any money you don't have to trade with them just keep your account open and you can trade with this just like I'm doing I have my account with them though however you don't have to just remember don't trade anything from this platform because it will go straight to TD and they'll honor that purchase so we are looking here all the way across and it was been falling until this day now, would you like to guess what day this is? Yes, this is the day the Memorandum of Understanding came out. Let's zoom in on that. Memorandum of Understanding came out and the price was at, oh, about 006 and it went up to three and a half cents. You're talking 600% jump on a Memorandum of Understanding, a chat over coffee. This isn't a letter of intent. It's not a signed deal. It's just, well, yeah, we're tossing the idea around wow bit of an overkill and then you had the news about Marvian. they were telling you about the movie lockdown in asia and how they got on that stock market the okex not stock but you know the nft market and then would you believe that this is the closing date yeah this is the date they closed the deal and got the company marvian now was bones's company and it fell now I don't understand why it fell I honestly can't tell you but I can't tell you that's a perfect setup for a pump and dump no I'm not saying that I'm just using this as a good example to show you a memorandum of understanding is nothing like I said it's just chat over coffee there's nothing on paper there's nothing and it could be a rumor could be a lie could be a mistake and nobody's held liable for whatever it does could be a big investor makes a big investment for the company without you and I knowing about it and it gets put in the press so we all think whoa something's happening and you jump in and then you talk about all this good stuff it's not your company but you're talking about them and you hold the price up well you see it's not getting any higher it's pretty much hit a plateau so you would dump all your shares that was your plan right you make all your money and you leave everybody else holding the bag so why don't I think this company is that well we just went through the evidence Marion has been making movies they're out there already they have got accounts with the uh, new platform to sell their nfts no i don't think it's fake i think everything's legitimate and real and i think it's going to grow this doesn't look like it has any inspiration in the market but i think this is undervalued and under the radar right now and this deal is fresh this was made in September then it was finalized in October and they're just getting to the competition I mean things are just getting rolling now you know a train doesn't go from 0 to 60 in 
two blocks or even a mile. It takes some time. So I expect this company not just to build up steam on their own, but the metaverse to grow exponentially. People are scared of it right now. They don't understand it and they avoid what they don't understand. Why replace the internet? Why do we need it? What's wrong with computers and smartphones? Come on, we don't need it. We're doing fine without it. You know, this is what we went through with the internet and we know better now. So once the metaverse comes into its flowering stage right now, it's just barely coming out of the ground and getting some leaves out there. But once it starts to flower and then gets to fruit, folks, I think a company like this that is into exploring new things to do with NFTs by bringing in talent that can not only show them new paths, but give them IP, intellectual property from the talent they bring that they can sell and make money on. I think their portfolio is gonna grow immensely. Think of Simon Cow. How much money has he made from marketing the people he found that came to his stage? Whew. So I think this company is set up at a great place right now. Let's come in on that five day, five minute because it looks pretty pathetic from here. So she was getting slammed. She has been rolling downhill like Donkey Kong and she hit another. This kind of looks like a mini one of those we just looked at, an unexpected fall that went very, very deep and it came up and it did not bounce back. No, 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 not this time. It kept falling. Now, I get the feeling that this is an exaggerated low and it's not seen much as a low. However, if we draw a line right there, I think if this price comes down to there again, we have a chance of this bouncing because it would reach it organically. It organically came to a low because if you look here, folks, let's go all the way back for a year. There's my line. I'm gonna draw that line right as best I can. Right there. That takes us all the way back to, geez, that's January. January, the third week of January. That's how long ago. Now it looks like right there, we may have tagged on to it and you can see it is a support. This price does not like to come down over that. That's it. Not since here. And we are right there right now. So this could be a perfect setup for a bounce. We are on the floor. I'll tell you that much right here. We're below 30. 30 is the floor. You're digging in the dirt <laughs> under the foundation. And that's where it's just gone at 29.98. Cracking that cement. And the RS or the MACD, you know, I think they're laying on top of each other right now and smothering each other. So it looks like everything is just you know, like when the ball goes up in the air and stops just for a second before it comes down, it's actually just doing nothing. It's just floating in the air. I think that's what's happening with the price. I think there's a very good likelihood that it could bounce here. If it does not bounce there, we would have to go all the way back and I can do that. We'd have to go all the way back to here and it looks like right there would be our first support because there's nothing here to grab to tell us. So we come back in on that five day, five minute, get a close look here. All right, so there is our low, low. There is our support, is that right or is it lower? No, it's way down there, okay. There's our low from the freak. I think it should bounce off of that. That is uh, the uh, support over, oh, I was just laying my line on top of it. That's what it is. Okay, so these should be on top of each other. That's what you get for spitballing. And then this line was the very first support. We gotta go a year back to find any place to judge. So if this price breaks 4-1, there's a very strong likelihood it's gonna come down. Now there may be a tighter one here. There may be a tighter one, I'd bet, that's somewhere in the middle, right there. So. I think it's at a great price right now, but there's a chance it could fall. If it does not bounce off of this line here, I think there's a chance that it could bounce here. So you could buy 20% here or here of what you wanna buy. Know what you wanna invest, buy 20%. If it falls, don't panic, you only bought 20%. If it goes down to here, get another 20%. You bought 20% up here or here, it's gonna split in half. You got 20%, 20%, you're just gonna cut your price in half and you're gonna get a nice even price. If it falls one more time, which I can't see it happening here, 
Get 20% more at that new low price, maybe even 30%, and really bring down your average, because this is not gonna stay on the floor. I assure you that. And when it starts to come up, folks, throw in that last buy. Get that last buy when you get a strong, serious confirmation that you know it's going up. Hey, hey, this is my day. Buy some. I don't care if, if it moved faster than you wanted and you're paying more than you wanted. Buy it. This fuels the fire. There's already purchases coming in. You're throwing another one in there while it's all happening. Plus, you're getting profit on that as it's climbing. That's the way you make money. You take profits everywhere you can get them. So that would be my plan on this stock. Well, there you have it. And I'm not throwing you no bones. <laughs> I know. Seriously though, I think this is a great company to invest in. I think that they are just starting their revenues. They are in a sector that is unknown, which has so much potential, the metaverse. They are in the NFTs, they are hybrid, they are doing something nobody else is doing. They are inviting in all these competitors, all these artists, all these think tankers. They're gonna come up with new innovative ideas and other companies are gonna to wanna to take advantage of their technology and use them too. I think this company at this price, it's under a half a penny right now, folks. It's reached three and a half cents. That just happened a couple days ago. I think it's got a lot more to give. I think this is a 10 banger. Oh yeah, once some real news comes out, something transitioned here with the acquisition, I don't know, but we're gonna get a bounce off the low and we're gonna get a piece of news to just follow it. That's a feeling, we don't need it though because the metaverse is growing, this company's got solid foundation and are doing things, the competition is right around the corner. You're at a great price. You think this won't hit four cents? Folks, we're looking at a 10 bagger. I love this stock. And if you're not in it for quick money, definitely hang on to it for the long run. I think it's gonna be big. Well, you do your own DD because it's your money. Remember, the more you know, the more you're gonna grow. See you, folks.